Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you real quick how to use our uh, Suncatcher animated overlay inside of Photoshop. You can use it in Photoshop, After Effects or uh, Premiere Pro if you like to, so it's completely up to you. Uh, Photoshop will take a bit longer to render, but this is the way most of our um, animated tools are used, so I will show it inside of Photoshop. Um, we have here the longer versions of the overlays. So these are some of uh, like uh, three minutes long or two minutes long, really depending on the animation you have inside. And these are the bigger ones, so the bigger files, which will take longer to download. As you can see, it's like one to two um, gigabyte. So if you don't have such a stable uh, Wi-Fi connection, I would recommend to first download the shorter ones because I prepared some uh, for Instagram stories especially, um, which are 50 seconds long and way um, smaller in file size. So you can decide be between uh, these two lengths um, and sizes. So it's completely up to you. If you only want to make an Instagram story, simply use these here because it's more convenient to use. So, and the third thing which will be inside of this whole download is the pre made composition, which I'm creating currently here. So you don't have to make an Instagram story PSD this is like a small shortcut for you to make this whole thing quicker and easier. <laughs> so let's start. Simply drag and drop your image inside this uh, pre-made Photoshop file. Scale it to the size you want it to. And here you go. This uh, image is for Unsplash. You can get it for free. And the next thing is to choose one of the overlays. Simply, simply drag and drop it here. As you can see, we already have it inside here. And now the next step is um, to open the timeline. As always, go to Windows, a uh, window timeline, and then click on Create Video Timeline, not on Create Frame Animation. Here we go. As you can see, the image is shorter um, than the overlay and our Instagram story has to be like 50 seconds long. So we have to drag it until it's 50 seconds long. Here we go. So now this is not looking quite nice <laughs> at the moment. We will go to the layer where our animation is in and then simply go to screen. So. You can now play around. You can set it to screen, you can set it to lighten, so you don't have too much of the white parts. Uh, simply try to um, experiment a bit with this whole thing to um, see what your image might look better with. Is this, did I set this right? I don't know. So, you know what I mean. So I will choose screen for now. You can of course um, put another one on top and use it maybe with lighten or maybe with color. Then you will have this rainbow color style thing here. And yeah, that's basically it. So we are already done with this whole preparing. Now you can put text over it, whatever you like. And as you can see, the whole thing is already moving. So it's short preview inside of Photoshop as always very slow, but we are going there. So you can also play around with the opacity if you like to. Yeah, that's it. And now we will uh, render this video. Go to file, export, Render video and make sure you have the document size selected. Uh, you can choose 30 frames per second because the animation is also 30 uh, frames per second, but you can also choose a lower frames per second value. <laughs> so simply uh, choose your folder and export this whole thing and 
that's it. You're ready with the animation. I hope um, this helped you a bit. Um, if you uh, want to use it in Premiere or in After Effects, the workflow is basically the same. You can uh, play around with the blend, uh, blending modes and try to find the perfect match for you. So, have fun! Bye!